Part of running an effective megacode scenario is the effective use of simulation software. This video will review the Medical Rescue Pro simulation software. Let's start by looking at the simulation view that the student will be seeing. From top to bottom, the student can see EKG, blood pressure, SpO2, and entitled CO2. At the bottom of the screen, from left to right, you have the power button, the system control button, you have a real-time clock, as well as a stopwatch that can be used to do your intervals during CPR. To the right of this section is where blood pressures and intermittent blood pressures can be taken at intervals of 2 minutes, 4 minutes, and 8 minutes. You can also toggle between the leads as well as take 12 lead EKGs for the rhythm showing on the monitor. There are alarms that can be pushed and added to the scenario that can allow the student to hear a metronome for CPR, as well as a alarm for the EKG. To the right of this section is the pacing section. To turn the pacer on, click the pacer button. Here we can see a rhythm that is going to be paced. Once the pacer button is pushed, you can see all of the R waves marked at the top of the screen. Once milliamps is increased, you'll see a pacer spike that's added. You're going to increase the milliamps until you see a one-to-one -one capture on the screen. If for any reason the student needs to see the underlying rhythm, the pause button can be used, like the 4 to 1 button on the Zolar. To the right of the pacing section is the defibrillator and cardioversion controls. To use the defibrillator, in AED mode you would push AED. Otherwise you will manually change the energy selection you wish by pushing the up or down button. Once you select your energy for defibrillation, hit the charge button. If you make a mistake, you notice the charge button becomes a stop button. If you have the correct energy selection, push and hold the shock button. You'll notice that once you push the shock button, a tally of how many shocks is kept inside of that button. Next, let's look how to use synchronized cardioversion. To cardiovert, push the sync button. You'll see that above all of the R waves, a arrow marker is there. You'll adjust your energy selection to the right dose, push your charge button. If a mistake is made, you can also hit stop. Once you have your charge ready, you will push and hold for cardioversion. Now let's take a look at the instructor remote functions. This is seen in a portrait view where the top portion of the screen is a replica of the student's display and can be controlled from the instructor remote. Down the center of the display are five buttons. The system button, which allows the instructor to change settings. The reset button, which allows the instructor to reset all settings. The scenes button, which we'll talk about a little bit later. The log button, which will show a display of all of the buttons that have been pushed, as well as give options for the instructor to add different events as the scene progresses through. Finally, there's the CPR button, which when depressed during a code will hide the underlying rhythm and display a CPR waveform at an appropriate rate. Next, let's look at each of the four bottom sections. Let's start on the far left with the EKG section. If you press the EKG button, you will see 30 different rhythms that can be selected. For each rhythm on the bottom of the display can be seen the rate options for the rhythm. Adjust this with the sliding toggle and press OK. Once your selection is made, the display returns to the main screen and you will see the rhythm selected and a send button. You must select send and depress the EKG button on the bottom and select either 6L or 12L. This will reflect the amount of leads the student can view from their monitor. 
Here's an example of a 12 lead that the student can see by push, pushing the 12L button. On the bottom right of the display of the EKG setting is a button called Trigger. This button is used to change your rhythm by using cardioversion or defibrillation. Let's see an example of this. Here we see that we've put the patient in a pulsing VTAC. Next, return to the EKG screen and select the rhythm that you want the patient to successfully cardiovert into. In this scenario, let's say the patient cardioverts into a sinus tack. So let's click on the sinus 135, choose the rate you want, let's say 120. Next, press the trigger button and select the energy you want the cardioversion to work at. For this scenario, let's say it's 125 joules. Next, press OK. Make sure to push the send button. Now, when the student prepares to do cardioversion and charges, we see they charge the monitor to 100. When they depress and hold the shock button, we see that the rhythm does not convert at 100. In their next attempt at cardioversion, we'll see if it's at 125 that after the shock is displayed that it converts to sinus tack. Next, let's look at the blood pressure section. To change a blood pressure, press the NIBP button. You can select from one of four columns with a quick button or move the bottom toggles and select a custom to create your own blood pressure. Once your choice is selected at the main screen, press send and press the bottom NIBP button. This button must be green for the student's display to be seen. Once this is done, the next blood pressure that the student will see after pushing NIBP will be your custom blood pressure. Next, let's look at SpO2. Just like the preceding sections, the bottom button must be green for the student to see their selection. They have four columns to choose from or a custom uh, SpO2 that they can choose from. Once you hit send, you'll see the display change and reflect your new SpO2. Finally, let's look at entitled CO2. Here in this section at the top, you can adjust the respiratory rate as well as the curve setting and your waveform. Let's uh, adjust our respiratory rate and adjust our end title to 25. And then we'll take a look at the main screen. Once we send this, we'll see our waveform change from the current settings to our new settings. Finally, let's take a look at the scenes button. When you push the scenes button, you're gonna have a selection of some custom made scenes as well as some quick buttons to go to scenes. When you push this, it will pre-select ECG, NIBP, SpO2, and end title CO2 numbers where you can just quickly push send as you're ready to display these up on the monitor. Finally, we're going to end this video by saying that the use of simulation software can help students by offering a more realistic scenario. However, without knowledge and practice of the software, the use of this technology may become a distraction. Spend some time by practicing some of your scenarios with the technology before applying them to your MegaCode practice. Thanks for watching this tutorial. See you on the next one.